Hello everyone, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a little bit different from my conventional gear reviews because I'm not going to review any lenses or any cameras, but instead I'm going to talk about color science. And to be more specific, the Hasselblad Natural Color Solution. So unlike Fujifilm, who gives you, you know, a whole bunch of creative options in the form of film simulations, Hasselblad's approach is one solution for all conditions, which I thought was really appealing for people who just want a good baseline to work with or who want their photos to be more consistent. And to be fair, a lot of people are considering either the Hasselblad system or the Fujifilm system as their medium format system choice. And people leaning towards Hasselblad are those who appreciate you know, the industrial design, the fit and finish of the camera, as well as the color science. At least according to a lot of the reviewers and users that I've encountered either in real life or online, Hasselblad has the most amazing color science in today's digital photography age. Well, so in this video, I'm going to share a whole bunch of photos taken in different lighting conditions, which is indoors, outdoors, and to see how Hasselblad interpret color. And also I'm going to compare it with my own edits. Well, of course I consider myself an experienced Lightroom user, but I'm not the best out there. So take that with a grain of salt. And of course, everybody interprets color differently and everybody has their own creative approach. So my photo edits cannot represent all photo edits, but I think it will be a good starting point for you to, you know, see if the color science Hasselblad provided is of value to you. Okay, so let's get started.
All right, so now you've seen the photos and comparisons. What do you think? Well, to be honest, I have to say that out of all the camera system that I've used, Hasselblad do produce the most realistic and sometimes the most pleasing color. But if you compare it to the edits you've done, of course, you do your edits based on your own preference and your own understanding of the scene, the color, the lighting. So you might be biased, but what do you think? Well, to me, at least, I think Hasselblad does give you a really good baseline to edit with. But in this video, I actually edited the raw files out of the camera. So Hasselblad Natural Color Science Solution was not applied because it only applies when you either export TIFF files or JPEGs from the Focus app. And if you use the raw files directly, then it will be the Lightroom's interpretation of the color information. But that being said, I think for a lot of people, if you're shooting something and you want to have your photos presentable to either your clients or yourself in a more time constrained manner, then yes, I think this color solution is a good choice. It's sort of like a shortcut. At least you can use most of the photos straight out of the camera without any retouching. But if you wanna be more personal, you know, if you want to add your own interpretation into a photo and if you regard photography as means to express your artistic approach, then I don't think it actually matters too much. So that being said, given that um, the current the Fuji GFX lineup has many more lens options, including zooms and even tilt shift lenses, Hasselblad's lens choices just pales in comparison. And also there's this availability issue where, you know, when I was in Japan, I couldn't get hold on any of the newer lenses. Well, except for the 25 millimeter that was just released. So yeah, I would, um, you know, not really given too much weight to the Hasselblad color solution. If you are an avid, you know, Lightroom user or Photoshop user, but if you just want to take photos and have a really fast workflow, then the Hasselblad in combination with Focus mobile app is a really good choice because you can snap the photo, wirelessly transfer the photo onto your phone, do a very quick adjustment to, you know, exposures and stuff and post it onto Instagram or other social platforms of your choice. So yes, it simplifies the workflow it gives you a good baseline but it cannot replace post-processing so that is the conclusion i draw here and of course you might have different opinions so please leave your comments down below and tell me and other audience what do you think all right i guess that's it for today's video i'll see you in the next one